Joining us now, Jeff Yu, BNY Mellon Senior EMEA Market Strategist. Hey, Jeff, what new, what new prime minister would the markets like the most? Uh, well, you know, right now, I think the markets are just more concentrated on, you know, who um, is uh, at number 11, you know, at this point, if it's really uh, you know, going to be a unity candidate or uh, any of the candidates you know, mentioned at this point, as long as Jeremy Hunt sticks um, to his current proposals. Uh, and we have um, that a budget statement, okay. official statement on October the 31st, in line with what's been floated over the last uh, week or so. Uh, I think the markets will take that as well. I think stability is the key right now. Absolutely. But there are still other issues that could cause instability. Brexit is still not done. Um, Northern Ireland, the protocol, still not resolved. There are still areas of instability that, that are kind of untested at this point, Jeff. Therefore, do you think the market is, is, is going to remain as sanguine as it appeals, appears right now, regardless of kind of who is at number 11? I don't think markets are sanguine at all, you know, right now. And markets are reserving their judgment, you know, but at this point, uh, they just don't need to, let's say, add uh, to the risk of uh, premium uh, at this point. Uh, so uh, uh, most of, so the vast majority of uh, members of parliament uh, with, without memories of uh, 1992, they've been chastened by the experience uh, over the last few weeks or so. Uh, and as a result, no matter who comes in, they would want to go for the path of least resistance or mm -hmm. the path of least of volatility. And that will be the way forward, uh, even for, um, let's just say, a disruptor who may want to, to come in as well. But Jeff, it's really hard to see how the UK is going to have anything but austerity, no matter who's in 10 Downing Street. Yeah. Well, put it this way, you know, one way or another, we're going to see weaker growth. Uh, that was somewhat baked into the Bank of England's forecasts of already. Uh, we are keen to see, you know, what they uh, say in the next monetary policy uh, report. Uh, but if we just stay away from the politics for, for a second, no goodness knows that we need to do that. Uh, growth is going to start surprising to the downside. The housing market, the wealth effect uh, on that for a uh, aggregate demand um, economy, which is really determined by household wealth and consumption. That is where the pressures are going to be. And I think that's what the Bank of England and markets are going to be looking at uh, so looking for downside surprises to grow. Hopefully inflation can come down, uh, but if it doesn't, then it's really going to be a tricky period for UK assets. In, in terms of... Do you think that the party is going to be looking, testing ideas with, with the market? I, I'm just wondering whether the market is going to be a sounding board at this point. I'm fascinated that thus far the Boris Johnson story hasn't caused much of a ripple in the gilt market or in sterling. But do you, think, do you think the Conservative Party will use the market reaction as a way to judge which, party they should, which candidate they should ultimately select here? Uh, I think we may see some more, uh, let's just say, uh, volatility according to uh, the process. And because um, if uh, the members are going to be given a say, and I still wonder, I, I still question how logistically that can be achieved, uh, then markets may um, start to, uh, let's just say, worry a bit um, if we do get a candidate more towards um, the quote, quote, libertarian wing that's willing to experiment a bit more. Uh, but at this point, I think markets are expecting, no matter who comes in, uh, the fiscal plan, the new fiscal plan, is going to remain in place. So as a result, you're not going to need to see uh, a similar reaction for mm -hmm. now uh, compared to when the mini budget came out. And of course, on the other side of it, looking at cable, Fed expectations, let's not forget that matters as well. And that seems to have peaked.